Peace and blessings, beautiful beings. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are doing well on this beautiful Sunday. I am super excited. I am going to Brooklyn right now to get my hair retwisted by a woman named Priestess Yendez Nefer Atum. Oh my goodness, she has an apothecary storefront called Ancient Blends and just filled with natural ingredients that you can use on your hair, your body. She sells plants and she does natural locks hair. And so my spirit, even though I can do my own locks, my spirit, when I went to go um, buy some ingredients from her, I bought a shampoo. Actually, let me go grab it. And we're back. I bought a few things, but I went there to get this shampoo. Yeah, Ancient Blend. So it is a reawakened shampoo that's has lemon mint in it, lemongrass, peppermint, eucalyptus, essential oils. And you know what's good when you can read the ingredients on what you use on your body, right? So I'm gonna start using that. I also got this uh, scalp and body oil. And this is the first time that I've ever gotten a plant-based hair gel. And one thing about me, when I have my head wraps on, I always like to have my edges laid. So I am actually really excited to try this product. And I also got this really cool product. It's a leave-in herbal hair rinse conditioning treatment. You basically steep this tea, this hair rinse, and you just put it into a rinse bottle and you just like spray your hair and you just leave it in and so i'm really really excited to try her products she is in the best style area of brooklyn and i'm so excited to go get my hair done from her some of you might actually know her she was featured on youtube because she is known as the woman who has about 600 plants in her apartment I'm going to put a little bit of her, vi her video here, but I'll link her video in the description box below so you guys can watch it in full. Face of my plant garden. What is she talking about? Lay there. Are you kidding me? But I'm just so excited because my spirit was just like, ask her if she can retwist your hair. Cause I'm actually due for my next retwist anyway. I honestly do my hair three to four times a year. <laughs> I do my hair every three months. Last time I retwisted my own hair was April. So we are currently in July. So I am due for my next retwist. And I was just like, hey, why not ask her to do your hair? You know, it's a very intimate, experience so uh for someone to do your hair because you know they're taking care of your crown you know and so i'm super super excited i'm actually really really blessed that she said yes and i'm honored you know and so i'm honestly more excited to even be in her apartment with all those plants i'm taking you guys along with me and i was just super super excited so i'm gonna bring you guys along let's go There's the Kyrie Show Center mm -hmm. for hair care and wellness, mind, body, spiritual wellness. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
what brings you here today? So I am three years locked this month actually. And before being locked, I really did not, at the end of the day, love myself because I did not take care of my hair. And so this journey of being um, locked really made me dive into myself, not only my body on the physical scale, but my spirit as well and my mind. And so um, I'm keeping myself balanced and that really just started with the lock journey. And when I went to Ancient Blends, my, my spirit just wanted to ask you to do my hair and um, doing someone's hair is very intimate. Um, because you're taking care of someone's crown, you know, and so I just continue to be full. Like, I do just something in my spirit that wanted to pull me towards asking you, and I'm really grateful that you said yes. So I'm here to experience the Yenda's experience. And well, thank you for following your spirit. <laughs> yeah, of course. And even still, I've been hearing my spirit more loudly than my ego nowadays, the more that I align with my higher self. And so I'm proud of myself for the journey that I'm on right now and the people who I meet that continue to expand that journey. Yeah, I say, and I'm happy to be one of those people. Yeah, thank So you. let's go. Let's go. Priestess Yendez, I did not film the process of my, I would say consultation. It wasn't a hair appointment. It was really a spiritual consultation with a woman of knowledge, you know, that was able to share so much knowledge. And I'm sure there's so much more that I can learn from her, but it was a beautiful start. I am completely, I feel like one, that's one thing for sure. After she washed my hair and shampooed it, I, I felt so much lighter, it felt lighter. And the knowledge that I just was receiving all day, the lessons that I was able to really learn from her is the truest gift, right? Because I could have went anywhere else and she even mentioned that on her own, I could have went anywhere else to get my hair done and I wouldn't have. <laughs> I would have just honestly did it on my own. But I I give her much gratitude. I give my spirit more gratitude because I was led, you know, I was led to ask her, um, like I've mentioned multiple times in this video. And so I know that I am on the right path when I meet people who are truly 
able to lift me up on a spiritual scale and very very much mentally and emotionally i've been telling myself a lot of the times while well, believing in the fact that we're here to learn our lessons you know but the more that i really profoundly sit down and sit still and quietly evaluate that there is nothing we need to learn here <laughs> we're just here to remember mm -hmm. we're just here to remember remember everything that we already know you know we go to school to learn something that we don't yet know but in this life, we're just here to remember everything that we have already forgotten. For some strange reason, I don't know why we forgot it. <laughs> but life is about remembering who you are and stepping into the light of who you are and walking as though you know who you are. And I know I am on the right path. I feel really really good knowing that I'm on the right path and I haven't said this in a very long time in a, in a in a lot in a very long time in a few videos but I hope you guys are doing something for yourself that makes you feel good you know because feelings lead us to truth which leads us to joy and the best feeling in the world is love <laughs> and so trust your feelings go with that feeling because it will lead you to truth dr delbert blair said there is no such thing as truth <laughs> and i honestly resonate with that you know the only once you attach to it it's your truth and my truth doesn't necessarily have to be your truth right and so there is no such thing as truth. The only truth is the one that you attach yourself to. <laughs> Once you claim it to be true, it's true. And that's where beliefs come from. But I am really traveling. I could go on forever, but I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for the experiences that spirit is leading me towards. The knowledge that I am receiving and applying, most importantly, right? They tell us that knowledge is power, but it's really applying that knowledge that it becomes our true power. And so with that, I am grateful. I'm grateful for my lock consultation experience. I'm grateful to create more experiences that lead me to my higher purpose and align with my higher self. <laughs> so with that, I shall bid adieu. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Make sure you catch me next time because I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Peace and blessings. <laughs>